Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things narcissism and this video is going to be about why do narcissistic people do what they do? Why are narcissistic people narcissists? Why do they display narcissistic behaviour? Why do they hurt people? What creates a narcissistic person? We can often look at this to try and find ways to help them. You can't help a narcissistic person. The more you try to help them, the more they're going to hurt you. Psychologists, therapists, researchers, counsellors, coaches all have lots of valid theories as to what creates a narcissistic person. However, none of these theories are conclusive. There's always room for improvement. There's always room for further studies. So there are several different reasons as to why narcissistic people become narcissistic people. The reason why they behave in the way that they do is due to their sense of entitlement, due to their exploitative behaviour, due to the belief that they are special due to the grandiose mass to hide who they are as a person and due to their lack of empathy to care for others. Due to, due to them being cynical people, them believing that everybody is out to get them, therefore they seek to get other people first. Now, yes, a narcissistic person can have suffered trauma within their childhood, which creates that cynical thought process within them. They can have suffered trauma. However, their trauma was not their responsibility. Their healing, unfortunately, and as unfair as it might sound, their healing is their responsibility. They make a choice to go around hurting others because others hurt them. They make a choice to make other people suffer just to see how it feels because of what they had to suffer. They make a choice to pass the blame on to everybody else rather than try and heal their issues. They make a choice to fail to take responsibility for their behaviour and blame others for their behaviour. Now their trauma, whatever caused that trauma, was not their responsibility. However, they made a choice not to take responsibility in order to recover. They made a choice to hurt others instead of to help others not suffer the same fate that they once did. It can be a defence mechanism. Again, it's a choice, it's a defence mechanism that they create in order to protect themselves by hurting other people. They lack the empathy to care. They know that they've hurt other people unless you have a really malignant, grandiose, narcissistic person who will blatantly admit the things they do yet just say as to why that other person deserved it. They deserved it because they didn't do this for me. They deserved it because of that. So you can have one that will happily be themselves no matter who they are around. However, they've usually placed that much fear within those around them that no one dare stand up to them due to the punish that, punishment they'll receive if they do or the punishment they've seen other people receive. However, the majority of narcissistic people will act first and then when they are called out they gaslight to get away with their behavior so they make a choice to do something and then they make a choice to lie about it and then they make a choice to cover it up because they know how pe other people might perceive their actions they don't believe that their actions are in the wrong they're worried about your perceptions they're worried about the consequences so they gaslight and lie and deny which is a choice that they make they can be lacking a thing called object const constancy, where when there is conflict or disagreements or distance between two people, you can still care, you can still relate, you can still think of that person. To a narcissist, as soon as there's conflict and they're not getting their own way, they don't care about that person, they care about getting their own way. And it's a choice they make because they're not getting what they want. Now, 
We can have an attachment in early childhood formed with our primary caregiver. We're, we all are, we're all human. We all have needs. We all need food and water to stay alive. We all need oxygen to stay alive. We all need shelter, especially in extreme weather to stay alive. We all have needs for survival and babies look for those needs to be met by their primary caregivers until they learn to meet these needs for themselves. Narcissistic people in one sense need somebody else to provide for them, to look after them, to care for them. Not that they'll admit this and they are very good at portraying themselves to be more than capable of doing everything for themselves. However, due to their envy, if somebody has something they want, they will go all out to exploit that person in order to attain it. Now, for our social development in early childhood, we need things such as love and connection. We need things such as play and communication. However, there are just as many children who lack that love and connection in their early childhood that do not grow up to be narcissistic. They make a choice to grow up to make sure that nobody suffers the same fate that they once suffered. They grow up trying to change the world, trying to make the, it a better place for young children to live in. So you can have an infant that did not get the love and the connection and the stability and the certainty and the food and the water and the shelter that was needed to provide a relatively carefree childhood that still grows up wanting to make sure other people don't suffer. They still make a choice of trying to help people instead of hindering people. Narcissistic people, they can suffer terribly in childhood and it is heartbreaking. However, they grow up wanting to make other people suffer, wanting to make other people pay wanting other people to see what they had to go through. They make a choice to punish people who didn't cause them their pain and their suffering. They make that choice. We all have needs such as certainty in life, having those routines, uncertainty, having that bit of variety, significance being important, being special, contribution, helping other people out. We all have those sorts of requirements that help us through life. Narcissistic people tend to use those to create drama and create conflict. They feel significant by pulling other people down. They make a choice to pull other people down to feel better about themselves. Other people who don't feel good about themselves make a choice to raise people up to feel better about themselves, to feel significant. They choose to help others. Narcissistic people choose to hurt others to feel significant and superior. Contribution. Narcissistic people believe everyone should contribute to them. Other people try to contribute towards others. There's no good deed that's... It's very difficult to do something without there being some form of reward in it for yourself, even if you don't intentionally want a reward. However, contributing towards other people gives you that feel good. Narcissistic people want all the contributions being given to themselves. They don't believe that other people deserve stuff. Now, parents... Parents can and do make plenty of mistakes when raising children. You can think you've finally got it sussed with one child and then another child comes along who is completely different and then the children start comparing why you parent that child different to that child and you start explaining that that child's a different temperament, that it's different, it's not favouritism, it's different. Parents make mistakes. People make mistakes. However, narcissistic people make a choice and then they repeat that choice. And it is a choice because after the first time, after the mistake, 
They didn't take responsibility. They didn't feel remorseful and they didn't want to repair the damage. They chose instead to do it again. Now, some people can be raised by narcissistic parents. So it can be a learned behaviour. However, people can be raised by narcissistic parents that grow up making sure that they are nothing like their parents. And as they've been raised by their parents, they can naturally gravitate towards certain behaviours, even if they don't like it and think, oh, that reminded me of whatever their parent did, even if it's not a narcissistic thing. So there is plenty of people that get raised by narcissistic parents who choose to take a different route in life, to take a different path to not do the things to their children that their parents did to them that hurt them. And then there is narcissistic people who were raised by narcissistic parents that believe that, well, they had to go through it and it didn't do them any harm. <laughs> really, it did them a lot of harm, but they believe it didn't do them any harm, so it'll not do their children any harm. Their children will not have to grow up to recover from their childhood because they didn't have to grow up to recover from their childhood because they're perfect. It's other people that are the problem. So some narcissistic people were raised by narcissistic parents and they make a choice that that behaviour is acceptable. We can all get caught in that trap where we are led to believe that certain behaviours are acceptable when they're not and often it's not until we have our own children that we then feel sort of icky about and think oh maybe that's not normal but you don't really want to discuss with other people because you were led to believe it was normal and when you realize that other people have been through similar situations and it's not normal that's when you can make a choice to change so when it comes to narcissistic people and what creates a narcissist there are various factors underlying root causes that can create a narcissistic person. But each and every one of those root causes, causes can also create a non-narcissistic person. The difference between the two is the choice that those people make. So what makes a narcissistic person? Their choices, their life choices. It's the choices they make. And any that are wrong, they cover up, they hide, they gaslight, they project, they run away from, they distract, they lie. They don't learn from their mistakes. They just learn how to manipulate better in order to get away with their behaviour. So why do some people become narcissistic? It's down to lifestyle choices that they make. Running behind that can be childhood trauma, it can be raised by a narcissistic parent, it can be emotions. We can all have those emotions though. We don't all make the choice to hurt other people, to pull other people down. So my personal opinion on what makes narcissistic people behave in the ways that they do is their own choices. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the description. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.